so hello everyone today we are going to discuss about dbms uh, so first of all we have to know that uh, what is dbms so dbms is a system that uh, enables users to create maintain and control access to the database uh, so first of all we have to uh, today uh, today we are going to learn that uh, how can we create a maintain and accessing data from database with the help of LibreOffice. so first you have to uh, open LibreOffice. Uh, so simply you have to just uh, click on the LibreOffice page and if you are unable to download this LibreOffice page just uh, send a message to me and uh, I will share the original website link to you and uh, you can easily download it. So first, uh, so first you, you have to click on that LibreOffice page then uh, there will be uh, two steps there uh, for database wizard uh, select database and save and process so first we have to uh, select the first option to select uh, create a new database okay then you have to click on next option listen carefully then you have to click on next option then now the second step is available here uh, your second option is save and proceed so do you want to just to register database in your yes register database for me and uh, and uh, select that point and from here you can you have to select the point open database for editing okay then click on finish now give uh, now give any name to the database so for example spkb okay great spkb is already there so we have to choose different name so spkbs So now, uh, a menu is appear. Uh, um, short menu is appear from LibreOffice page. This is a window. This is a window of LibreOffice page. So here there is a three options for creating a database. So first one is a create table in design bin, which we already discussed in our classroom. And second one is user uh, use user to create a table. And the third one is so for for third one you have to click on the tools. Then you have to select SQL. Okay, great. So starting from first that uh, first we have to click on a create table in design view okay the great so there will be there will be three columns here uh, field name field type and description okay so field them that means field name is defined uh, all the attributes all the columns in a database our uh, field type is defined uh, if it is a name then it will be worker if it will be phone phone number then it will be integer short number such type of that means it defines the data types okay or it defines the attributes of a database and here you can give any description for that uh, description for the attributes so easy so anyone can able to easily understand about it so for example uh, we are going to create a create a database table for a student so here there will be first uh okay roll number great roll number and roll number will be integers integers so there will be length so okay great uh, if you want to change the length of that you can also able to change it length okay now we have to select name okay great and we select the name and uh, name is a text marker no no problem and you can change the size of that length so here we select 40 great next uh, uh, this is roll number name address this is address okay so this is a text parker and uh, you know, we know that the address is too long so here we keep the length 100 okay great now add phone number so we have to add phone number okay so phone number will be number great great uh, roll over name address phone number so now you can so now you can create a primary key from that uh, uh, so you can create a primary key uh, any of them but uh, you know uh, the process behind to create a primary key is, is that the theory behind it that uh, only unique key maybe or only unique which can uniquely identify attributes uh, that will be primary key so here roll number is uh, such type of attribute where you can easily find a unique number here so here roll number will be so here roll number will be primary key 
just click on just select the row and right click then you have to choose primary key here so now roll number is uh, promoted to a primary key okay great so now you have to save it I give the table name so we created it uh, so we created database for a student so give uh, so the name so the name of the table a student good now create okay and you can close it close this uh, window now we can easily now you have to click on a student now add the data surname and it here uh, address is uh, Moran Hat. Her phone number. Next second number. Two. Then. Abhi kya na? Moran Hat. Some dummy number. I give dummy number. Okay, great. Then three. What do you do? Okay, now just save it. Okay, cool. Now I have to close that. Shit. So when you click on it, you can see all the details. Okay, great. So this is the so this is the first uh, option that how can uh, how can you create a uh, database uh, with the help of teach and build. Now we now we look into the second options that how can we uh, create a database using wizard option. So now you have to click. Now you have to click on a wizard to create a table. So you have to select use wizard to create a table. So we already said that how can we create a database uh, with the help of uh, design view. Now we have to move to the second option that uh, we are going to use wizard to create a table with that option. So just uh, simply click on use wizard to create a table okay now here uh, there are already two categories there business and the personal so in case of business there are a lot of options here in the sample tables you can choose any of them like orders context expenses uh, so for example so we are going to create a data for orders okay great uh, so there will be a, there will be some available fields here order id ship city ship name order date customer id which you really which you need uh, just click uh, on it and select that field to here simply so for example for uh, for orders table, you have to order ID. Great. Then just select on that order. Okay. If you want to select every everything, just click on it. Okay. Great. So first, uh, you have to click on order ID. Uh, then we click order ID. Then order date. Okay. Then uh, yeah, save address. Yeah, we need save address. Then save city. In save address, we can also put the city now. So no need to take them. Ship phone number, okay. Ship phone number, you can also edit edit them so they will be also available for editing the fields. So, no, don't be worried, okay. Just like for uh, four of them, okay. Also, okay. I also uh, so in, in personal, you can check system of things, okay. Plans, like library, recipe, accounts, address, something like that. So, I already told you about in the uh, table, which are there are two options business and personal. So, first, we choose the business, okay. So in business we select orders now we select order id and so order date see if it is okay then, then you have to click on just next okay order id will be integers okay no problem and order date will be dead no problem great see address will be uh worker, no problem and uh, the length will be 200 get there and see phone number will be text parker okay no problem you can also switch the uh yeah you know in uh, in case of harker you can also put the uh numbers here so that's why that's why this is your option also show, show them that parker but uh, just we click on numbers okay good very good the length of the numbers is 30 so, so just give 10 okay now click on the next and now here we have to set a primary key just uh, choose uh, there are two options set primary key automatically to add a primary key if you just select them then there will be 
automatically create a one uh, attribute that will be ID. So we have a uh, attribute uh, order ID that, uh, that can be promoted to a primary key. So just we select order ID as a primary key and uh, click on the next. Right? Okay. Now click on the next. If you have any doubts, just uh, send a message to me. Okay. Mm, now click on the next. Now there will be options create a table. So uh, what do you want to the name of your order? Oh, yes, order is great. Problem that orders okay now give them the name order you can select you can give uh, any name to it as yours but here here we create table for order that's why uh, orders will be good okay then click on finish okay now order ready there will be order ready see address and uh, see phone number so just order ready is one zero one just push to your data okay order date order date uh, today is zero five zero two two thousand twenty two okay and CP address, CP address will more on up. And CP phone number. Oh, other name. Okay, no problem. You can also give my uh, another column, another column here, which will be uh, order customer name, order customer name here. As you wish. Now give CP phone number. Okay. We can also add a constant here, but uh, okay. You know, one zero two. Choose to take automatically now. 30, 12, 19, 19. Okay. Okay, okay. Zero five uh, uh, zero two and uh, two thousand twenty two. Right? Okay. Uh, there will be a there will be order of cre uh, creating a for uh, there will there will be there will be means, uh, that means uh, there will be order for a debt that how there will be debt mount and then we are okay. So you have to select there uh, uh user de define data data values okay. So we have to select the uh, and that uh, such a way that then slash that then mount then here that 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 will be a period. So more on. Give any number phone number. Okay, now save it just as simple as save it. Okay, great. Now uh, click on close. Now we can easily see that there will be uh, data for database for order. Just click on that and we can view the data for, from data uh, from orders table. So, so we can view the data from orders tables. That's great. So, so we already uh, so watched it. How can we create a database uh, with the help of design view? Use user options and now we are going to create a database using SQL options. So, uh, creating a database with the help of uh, SQL options, just we have to click on a tools, then there will be sort menu appear here. Now, you have to select SQL. In SQL, uh, in SQL, we have to uh, we have to know the command that how can we create a table. For any SQL command, there will be uh, there will be some commands for creating a database. So we have to first uh, yeah, type create. Okay, great, create. Uh, so let's say we create a table for SQL. So create a table. SQL. That table name is SQL. Okay, now we have to give that. Uh, SQL ID. SQL ID. Don't give a space between any attributes. SQL ID. Any attributes now. Don't give a space to any attributes now. Okay. So SQL ID will be integer. Good. Now, now SQL name. SQL ID. You have to also remember the attribute names when you. Uh, when you are going to uh, add the values and that means when you are going to insert of the data values in a uh, table school so school id is an integer school name will be worker and also and also give the data type length so it will be 40 will be enough for that so 40 then you have to give comma here now school name and school address make it short now so school address school address so school address also will be a worker so give worker read uh, great uh, marker school address marker and give that 90. Okay, great. Now you have to close that bracket. Now I have to do some clock. Okay, great. Create table school. There, there will be a table name here. Okay, here will be table name here. Then the, these are the attribute school ID and this is uh, data types integers. Then a school name uh, is another attribute and the school name data type will be marker 40. We give 40 here because the school name are. Too long no? and school address are too long there. So here, school address, school address will be Barker. That means, and we give the, the length of that Barker is 19. So now just uh, uh, show output. Click on show output and execute. 
command and execute that's pretty great so just we have to uh, only close it uh, uh in sql command we have to refresh the data that, uh, then we can able to easily view that data so on the refresh table to view that uh, table which we created through the sql just refresh after refreshing we can see that uh, there's another table here school okay just click on it school there will be school id school name and school address okay and there will be no options so there, there, there will be no any options to insert the data here so how can we insert the data here so we have to again use the sql query to insert the data here so what will be the query let's see okay let's see let's see that means this was now okay we need the attribute that's why okay now we have to go uh, select tools from menu bar and we have to click on sql great so Insert query insert insert into table name is school. Okay, so give here school table name is school now school ID now school ID then come on school name school name school name then school address okay give all the name of attribute as we define in the table great just now close the bracket now we have to add the values so and values so school id will be maybe one zero one okay now this one now give school name for Bharka, for name you have to for the, you have to choose name as we can as we can great comma and more on that more on that not great now we have to go semicolon now we have to execute and so round is one column and one more on it. This could be okay, we get we finished that. Come on, that's why we have to give that comma here now. So we got comma, okay, great. Now we get it. Come on, successfully executed. Okay, come on, successfully execute. Now close it. Now we can view that data into a just copy that. It will help to now just uh, uh we see that the command successfully executed. Now close it. Now we can view the data. Okay, here there will be uh, there will be also replace option, so replace it. So school ID one zero one, school name SPKB, mm -hmm. and more on Now we can insert a uh, insert next data here again. So now we can also see that how can we insert a value here uh, again. So just go to the uh, tools and let's go. Now just press close it. Okay, now we have to press insert into what is the name of that uh, school? Okay, insert into a school. Okay, just put that table school. A school ID, a school name, and a school address. Okay, good. So, school, a school name, na. A school ID, then comma. A school name, then comma. A school address. Great. Now just put value here. Values. Then give the value. One zero two. Then comma. Then. This is the name of that school, or maybe DPS. Okay. Okay, the same thing. Now execute it. Kulam, not fun school. Add. Oh, there will be a school. Add. No, that's fine. Okay, okay. Uh, I give the name of a school address. Okay, but it will be a school. Uh, it will be a school. Okay, school. Good. Now execute it. Now it will say command execute. Command successfully execute. Now close it. Now we can view the data in a school. There will there will data here. Just we have to say uh, replace it now. One zero two. It is created here now. Okay, great. So now we can also add the primary key from that part. Now we have to just close it. And we also have there will be uh, there will be also query for uh, adding primary key. So now we can also create the primary key for that school. So school ID will be the primary key for uh, school uh, school table. So first we have to go to the tools uh, and we have to select the tools from menu bar. And now we have to click on a SQL. So command will be alter table. So alter table create table name will be school create alter table school. Then add primary key primary key primary key will be school id so here write the attribute which will be promoted as a 
primary key so alter table the school at primary key at school id great now we have to just put the semicolon here great now execute one command successfully executed close now we can check that whether the school id will be primary key or not just click on it and replace it so here the school id will be now promoted as a primary key so now we can see that how can we see the uh, how can we view the data from a school table uh, from sql query so you have to first select the tools from menu bar now we have to click on sql choose the option sql and click on sql now we have to type a command select extract from school great the school is a table name that's why we put here school now give semicolon here now just click on run sql command directly and also click on show output of select statements and the output will be displayed here we know that in a school table there will be two data so two data will be displayed here just now we have to click on a execute so we can easily see that data will appear here so thank you everyone and best of luck for your upcoming exam thank you so much bye